some of you may have been through this before if you're used to my blog, but I'm going to go over it again because I think it's important. I'd like to ask for your help because my liver has failed. What if I told you it was my kidneys that were failing? What if I told you I had stomach cancer? I already get the feeling we've all piled in behind breast cancer and we've got leukemia covered and as a culture we're obviously all about making sure old men can get it up. But what about my brain? What about your brain? How about the brain with the guy with the moldy rags and the aluminum cans and the shopping cart who's on the corner down from you? How about the young lady sneaking off the vomit again? Your friend who secretly washes his hands ten times every time he gets near a sink? How about your coworker who's lost all their motivation? Why is it that our society immediately piles in behind any number of afflictions that threaten or, or complicate the lives of those afflicted, but we still shun those people who have mental health issues. Isn't the brain an organ? According to the National Institute for Mental Health, a quarter of all adult Americans will suffer from a diagnosable mental disorder in any given year. That's over 50 million people in the U.S. alone. The most recent statistics from the Center for Disease Control show that less than 200,000 people will be diagnosed with breast cancer in any given year. Are we being rational in who we're walking around the track for, who we're wearing a certain color of pink or purple for? With 250 times as many people suffering from mental health issues as suffering from breast cancer, with more than 200 times as many people suffering from a disorder of the brain as suffering from leukemia. Are we really being fair in our approach to disease? The brain is the most complex and least understood organ of the body and arguably the most important. When did we quit caring about health above the neck? No one mocks a cancer victim. No one sees a person made homeless from Crohn's disease or, or some other hideous disorder below the neck and is immediately disgusted by them. Why is it we're, we're all so biased against diseases of thought? Mental health is quite possibly the health issue with the most stigmas attached to it. I'm always hearing that there's a thin line between genius and insanity, but nobody wants to talk about the thin line between dumbass and insanity, or mediocre and clinical depression, or kind of average and bulimic. Perhaps, for, for, for just a little while, you could start considering mental illness as illness. An illness surely brings forth sympathy, brings forth empathy, brings forth an urge to assist. Think about it. Think about it clearly. Think about it rationally. While you're thinking about it that way, <clears throat> be grateful you can. You may, you may even find yourself in a position to help.